I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Final Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. All right, you guys, somebody recently sent me this video of a stall spin accident. Uh, that just is the kind of thing that as somebody who, who teaches flying as my career, this makes me want to pull my hair out. Um, I could fix these problems if I, if I could work with this pilot for a day or two uh, because some of the fundamentals here are so egregiously bad. Uh, first of all, let's just watch this video and you should know that by some miracle of God, these two occupants survived what you're about to see. All right, now if you were to ask me how to enter a spin, I would basically walk you through what you just saw in that video. The first thing he does wrong here, the first thing that contributes to what inevitably happens is he pulls the power to idle. Okay, you can see that happen right here. Okay, power goes to idle. Now the minute power goes to idle, if you are so much as holding altitude, you're slowing down. As the power comes to idle and you're looking out the window, he's holding his altitude, he's slowing down. But what does this pilot do that's even worse than that? He rolls into a bank and pulls. All right, watch. Okay, now any time you are in a bank in an airplane, if the wings are not level and you pull, you're going to experience some amount of overbanking tendency. Now most pilots correct this overbanking tendency subconsciously, right? They're looking out the window or they're looking out the window and they just see the aircraft start to roll so they don't even know they're doing it, but they tend to stop that from happening because no one wants to be upside down. And they tend to do that in the way that they know most readily, which is with aileron. Now you're cross-controlled, right? You're, you're in this bank, you're, you're a opposite aileron, uh, you're about to see a, a left yaw come in, but when you put opposite aileron in like that, you increase the drag on the lower wing, all right? And that's gonna become very important. Now at some point here, the pilot realizes, boy, I'm getting slow or, uh, you know, I better add power and perhaps get out of here. And he comes in with full throttle, and zero right rudder. Let's watch that. There it is, full throttle, zero right rudder. He does not correct for that spiraling slipstream that wraps around the aircraft, hits the tail, yaws him left, and the aircraft rolls toward the wing that stalls first. In this case, that's the direction he's banking as he skids to the left. The airplane rolls inverted, and it's an absolute miracle that these two occupants survived this event. This is typically a fatal accident. So how do you stop this if you're, if you're a pilot? How do you prevent ever being in this situation? First of all, make sure that always, in all circumstances, when you go from zero power to full power, you are using right rudder. All right, it's like your hand is connected to your foot. And if you're flying straight ahead, you can see this in the Limburg reference, which is why in our app, when we teach uh, even advanced pilots how to prevent stall spin accidents, a lot of it is about going back to basics and making sure you're looking in the correct spot in the Limburg reference so you can see that yaw and put the rudder in to counteract it. All right, second of all, he just lost airspeed management. He's distracted looking out the window. He pulled the power to idle, rolled the airplane into a bank, started slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Now low to the ground, that is not a safe situation if you're not fully in charge of what's happening and, and the outcome that you want, which this guy obviously was not. Um, it's amazing to me that in 120 years, we have 
found it so hard as professional flight instructors to teach these basics. We have here at TFP a CFI club that's completely free to join. We've got over 2,000 CFIs around the world who are a part of this club. These are CFIs who at no expense to them are trying to make their game better, become more professional and more competent CFIs. We have regular meetings and you get our ground school app free so that you can take your game to the next level and make sure you're using a quality product with your students. And all of these foundations are taught in the ground school app. But recently on one of our meetings, somebody asked me, hey, Jason, how do you teach this, right? How would you teach a, a private pilot, a basic pilot to avoid the stall spin scenario? Uh, and this is the way I do it. We first go up and it's power on stalls with feet flat on the floor to watch the aircraft roll and recover from the incipient spin. So it's part of a, a, there's, you know, the first thing that the students see is a, a fully demoed spin. And that's more like a demo day. You can't really swallow the whole thing. You know, like the first time you see a spin, it's just like, holy smokes. Yeah. Really, it's more just like you want them to know that if the power comes out, there is a recovery here. Even as crazy as it, as it feels when you're in this, there's a recovery possible. But then all of the training is about how do you prevent that from happening? So it's looking at the Lindbergh reference, feet flat on the floor, let the incipient stall break, but stop it before the spin happens. Once a student can stop the incipient spin from happening, I feel like they're good to go solo. Like they know where to look. They've yeah. seen, they've seen the worst thing. Right. And so often it's in that lesson. So like I never teach cross controlled stalls as a maneuver to private pilots per se. It's more like part of a skill building day like this, where we're going out to learn, you know, you're close to solo. We think you're getting ready to solo. You've seen the power <laughs> on power off stalls. We've done a bunch of stall exercises, but now we want to see like, you know, do you really understand what's going on here? And can you really get out of a bad situation? If you're looking out the forward window and the wing breaks toward a spin, right? Like that moment <clears throat> can be shocking if you've never seen it. So whether it's a cross controlled stall and you're breaking, like you said, to like you're skidding around a turn and it breaks to the inside like that, or you're just straight ahead, not using any right rudder at all. And it breaks over the top like that. Like for, for a moment, it feels like, you know, that's like an aerobatic maneuver, really. The lesson people are really missing is that in that moment, there's really nothing lost yet. You haven't experienced the, the entry to a spin. This is just the potential, very, very imminent potential <laughs> for a spin to result. What I want to teach students is to recognize the onset of that and prevent it from happening with forward elevator and opposite rudder, getting the power out, forward elevator, opposite rudder. In most training aircraft, the order doesn't really matter if you just do all those things, you know, fast enough. But of course, right. it's power out, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite, elevator forward. Um, but just doing those things will prevent, well, you'll be able to fly right out of that. Just roll the sky back up top and... And, and fly right out. All right, aviators, I hope you got a lot out of that. I, it's, it's a miracle, and thank God that these two uh, people in this aircraft were okay. Please let this be a shot across the bow. If you are not solid on your foundation, if you don't have the fundamentals down, come grab a free trial of the Ground School app. Make sure you go through all of our tap target evaluations and, and, and confirm that you're looking in the right spot in the airplane. Leave a comment below. If there's a video you'd like to see, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. But most importantly, until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.